Hi, I'm here with Badger Basket to show you the assembly instructions for model number 1857. Before we get started, make sure you look at all your pieces and make sure you have everything that's required and that you don't have any damaged pieces as well. If you have anything that's damaged or you're missing any parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. So first what we're going to do is start by combining step 1 and step 2 to make it a little bit easier. We're going to start with the side panels, which is part A, the bed rails, which is part B, and the bottom panels, which is part C. So to start this, what I'm going to do is start with one of the side panels. You'll notice that there's two holes on one side and only one on the other at each of the four spots. The two are going to be to the inside of the bunk bed. Those are going to correspond to where the bed rails are going to go. The bed rails, if you look at the end, you're going to see a dowel and a hole for the screw. The dowel is going to go in the very top hole and we're going to screw into the bottom hole. You're also going to notice that there's these grooves here. These grooves are where these bottom panels are going to slide into. So make sure that you have the groove to the inside of the bed. So we're going to start by putting these in and screwing all four of these posts. Remember, dowel to the top and we're going to screw to the bottom. So we're going to put this into this bottom spot here. And we're going to screw this one into place. Now for this instructional video, I'm going to be using a drill to make it a little bit easier, but feel free to use a Phillips screwdriver as well. If you do use a drill, make sure that you have the torque setting set on low so that you don't strip any of the pieces. So once you have the four railings screwed into place, what we're going to do is we're going to tip this up to make it a little bit easier to slide in the bottom panels. So the bottom panels have one side that is white and one side that is brown. Make sure you have the white going towards the top and the brown going towards the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide those down in place. And we'll get the other one slid and down into place. Again, making sure that the white is towards the top of the bunk bed and the brown is towards the bottom. The last thing we're going to be doing is putting on the other side panel. So for the other side panel, again, remember, the two holes correspond to the, where you're going to drill and the dowel. So that's going to go towards the inside. To make this a little bit easier, I'm just going to lay this on top. And make sure you get all of those dowels into place. and then we will screw these all in. Once you have the bunk beds put together, we're going to move to putting together the trundle base. So we're going to start with part D. If you flip it over, you're going to notice that this side has four holes in each corner. These are going to correspond to where the holes are for the wheels. We're going to put these all into place to match up those holes. And we're going to be using the smaller of the screws, which are labeled as K, and screw in each of these four holes in each wheel. So let's get all of those screwed into place. After you've completed step three, we're going to move on to step four, which is putting on the end pieces of the trundle bed. 
So for this, we're going to be putting on these pieces on the very end. And what you want is where you see the screws to the inside and the two indented screw holes will be to the outside. So that's where you're going to screw in on each end. So what I'm going to do is turn this around here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And it's going to go right on the end here. So let's get that screwed in on both sides of the trundle bed. So now moving on to step five, we're going to be putting on the side pieces. These ones are labeled G and will be going right along the side of the trundle bed. There are three screws that you'll need to screw into place on each side. So let's get those screwed in. The last thing to do is to put in the doll bedding onto the trundle bed and onto the bunk beds. You'll notice one of the bedding is a little bit shorter. That's the one that's going to be going into the trundle bed. And the two longer ones will be going into the bunk bed. You can put those right in place. And the trundle bed nicely should slide right under the bunk beds. And then there's a nice decorative ladder for the dolls. So we are all set. If you have any questions or concerns after this, you can reach out to Badger Basket as shown in the end of the video. Enjoy and thanks for watching.